Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a little of excitement in my house, but not anything too crazy. But today I wanted to, because I was listening to the news this morning a little bit, and they always say, oops, my coffee maker's going to make noise. I heard it go, Shh. let's hope it stops. Because it, it did that through one of the videos, and I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize it was working. Because noises in your house you become familiar with, and they don't seem like noises. They just are everyday stuff. Well, anyways, I was um saying about... <laughs> I was talking about something that was I was doing. Um, listening to the news. news. Oh yeah, listening to the news. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to the news. It's it's not so good. Um, anyways, I was listening to the news and they were saying you should wash your hands. So it brought to mind when I had the daycare a long time ago. Did you just drop some cheese? <laughs> Thought maybe I did, but he didn't. <laughs> You're eating cheese. The dog should be right there, catching whatever. But he's not. He's. I, there's nothing there. He's either in his house. Did you put him in his house, or is he sleeping on the? He must be sleeping. Sleeping on the bed. He's getting smart. If he stays put, he doesn't get locked away. But okay, I was watching the news again. We'll go back to the news, and they were talking about washing your hands, and so it made me think of the cassette tape that I used to play. Now. This is a cassette tape. <laughs> In case those of you that don't know what a cassette tape is. My daughter, uh, this is a little off track again. <laughs> You're always off track. I know because another thought came into my head. But you can bring me back when I, when I forget where I'm at. Um, she, we were watching a movie and she, she said, that's a strange looking sh um, razor. And what it was is, you remember those razors? I don't have one. If I had one, I'd yeah, show you. I don't, I don't have one here. Probably there's somewhere in this house there is one. We probably have but one. But you take the bottom and you turn the crank and the doors open up and you drop the blade in and then you turn the crank again on the bottom and they close up. And she says, that's a strange looking um, razor. And I said, that's the way they always used to look. Well, apparently she'd never seen one. But, so this is a cassette tape, and it made me think of a song that I used to play for the kids about washing your hands. But before we get to the song, and to the little tape, I'll play a little bit of it for you, because it's really cute. Um, I went upstairs, to because I have a, a player up in the, up in the upstairs that I, I usually use the, the DVD player on it for the kids when they're here, because they want a little lullaby music, and so I have... Uh, a really nice um, DVD or CD. It's not CD. a DVD. CD. Oh, good grief. These things that you put in machines. <laughs> <laughs> the CD, not a DVD. It's a CD that I put in and it plays lullaby music and it's really pretty music. In fact, when I used it at the school, there was a child that would fall asleep on the second or third song and he would be out like a light because it really puts you to sleep and so my granddaughter wanted me to play it and so I have that machine up there and it does have a cassette section player. on it player on it with it along with it so I was going to try it and when I was putting it in I was waiting and waiting and thinking gosh it's not playing yet I wonder what's happening so I opened the door and here it is it's eating my tape so I decided I better try and get that tape out because it's eating my tape up. And I don't have this on a CD. It's only on this tape. Well, while I was trying to get it, I had gone up there with a cup of coffee. Oh boy, not a good thing. And it was, luckily it was almost empty. There's an ant. There's an ant? Well, kill it! <laughs> And she's afraid of bugs, honest to Pete. And I have worms, and she's afraid of bugs. But um, <laughs> she got it. <laughs> okay, good. There goes a piece of toilet paper. 
That's worth a lot of money nowadays. <laughs> One less wipe for you. <laughs> oh. That's so bad. But anyways, well, I was taking the tape out of the machine, trying to get it out of the machine. I sat down on the floor and I kicked my coffee cup over. And so then I had a nice spill on the rug. So then I run and I used up some of the toilet paper too because I don't have paper towels upstairs. I didn't have anything upstairs that I could have grabbed real quick other than toilet paper. So there goes my wipe <laughs> or two or three. Oh, good grief. And um, I got the tape out of the machine, but I broke it. I don't know if the, I, I actually broke, I broke the, this stuff. This, this, see, this is what it's made out of. I broke that. And um, I thought, well, I guess I'm going to have to splice it. And I hope I don't lose any of my song because this is the only tape I have of that. So I, I don't know if you've ever spliced. We used to, we used to actually buy splicing tape for um, the reel-to-reel -reel. We had one of those, and it was the AIWA <laughs> radio station is what we used to call it. But it was just an AIWA on the machine, and it was a reel-to-reel, -reel, and it had the big reels like this out of the tape. But anyways, we used to buy splicing tape, and what you do is you overlap it, and then you cut at a diagonal, and then you lay the splicing tape on there, and then you stick the, the, thing, the two diagonals together, and it turns out, well, I don't have splicing tape, but I do have scotch tape, or cellophane, cellophane tape. tape, whatever you want to call it. I think it's scotch tape I actually have, though. But, um, so I put the tape together, and thankfully, I didn't lose any of my song, but you do hear a at one part, because, it, but it's at the end. Thank goodness it's at the end. And, um, so that was the excitement of this. And then I went up, because it was getting eaten by that machine, I thought, well, maybe I'll just try a portable one. This is a portable cassette player where you, you open it up and you drop the, you drop the, well, you drop it in the right direction. <laughs> you drop it in, close the door, and you push the button. And I thought, why can't I hear it? And I open this one up. Ah, oh, it's eating it too. But this one, you needed to plug in headphones or earphones to hear it and then it wasn't working and I thought oh you know what I think I still have the one up in the daycare so I went up in the daycare and got that machine and put the the tape in that machine and it worked thank goodness because I really wanted to hear this song and I'm going to share a little bit with you and I'll put it in right here the bubbles taught the children the important times to wash their hands before you eat, after playing outside, after using the toilet, after playing with pets, after sneezing or coughing, because you are important. And they sang a little song too. Remember, 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 don't forget, follow Soapy and Sudsy's rules. part of the song. <laughs> I don't know. Remember, remember. Oh, there goes the cheese for sure. Blow on it. Eat it. Yes, there we go. More germs, but that's okay. That's how we stay healthy. <laughs> the 10 second rule, or however many seconds. Two seconds? Five seconds? I don't know. It just Pick it up and blow it off. Yeah. Check it. Make sure there's no dog hair on it. <laughs> that would be the bad part. It's fun to scrub. It's fun to scrub. It's fun to rub a dub while we scrub. Rub a dub dub. So that's the video for today. A reminder, wash your hands. And if you drop cheese on the floor, you can pick it up and eat it. It's okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Bye.